Winspiration, the way to the essential. On UK Health Radio, Winspiration brings wisdom and information for an extraordinary future. Together, we can shape the world we want to live in. So let's get real and create the idea. Be extraordinary. Welcome again to another episode of Inspiration Radio, bringing you wisdom and information for an extraordinary future. Today we have a guest, and I promise you it will be not only interesting, it will be really touching. Tito Alvarez is uh, born in Puerto Rico, started there his life, um, moved to New York, and his main business uh, working life was in, let's say, broadcasting, um, having um, own shows, um, big platforms. And he was uh, yeah, known nearly for everybody in the U.S. because he also did a lot of um, voiceovers and his voice uh, in advertising big names like Coca-Cola, um, Bank of America, and uh, so much more to mention. And uh, he also was always um, really interested in, in working on helping um, Hispanic community to feel that they could do more. Because a lot of people, we know it, if it's a caste thinking in India, or is it maybe all these, a lot of immigrants, at least in, in the U.S., feel they're mediocre, they are not, as um, would say, really <clears throat> on the same level eye to eye uh, with <clears throat> the white Americans. And there is not yet the understanding that we are one big human family. And he is an advocate for this, working on his, um, with his son, <clears throat> Antonio, they have... Um, um, production studio, um, first of all, for the TV production, they're doing editing and voiceovers in the academy, um, for teaching people how to use the voice and also go to the profession of um, <clears throat> voiceovers. And you see, I could talk and talk and talk and the hour is gone about uh, Tito. So let's uh, um, come and uh, let's talk, Tito. I'm so grateful that you're there and uh, bringing this big heart now also in this Winspiration radio show. And if you please like um, um, to mention something, what I just uh, shortly mentioned about your um, life um, and what you think is an important message, not only to the Hispanic uh, people, so everybody that we can raise and develop us to a wonderful human community. Well, first of all, uh, Wolfman, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to your show. Um, and uh, definitely, uh, when I hear you talking, and uh, when we had some previous conversations, uh, knowing uh, uh, that you're an advocate for uh, being able to uh, provide to the uh, you know to the audience in general a, uh, a, a kind of uh, shedding more light into how to become better, how to increase their quality of life. That is basically goes right there in our league, uh, because um, uh, like you did well said, uh, the Hispanic market here in the United States is becoming one of the you know. Uh, most influential markets. Um, we're talking here about over 60 million, uh, and um, and it keep increasing at a at a at a very very good ratio. And um, you know, from from my beginnings, uh, my mother, rest in peace, she always used to say, "Son, whenever uh, the world gives you any blessings, you have to share it, and you have to." Uh, Share it with others. Don't keep it to yourself. Uh, at the beginning, being a little kid, you tend not to understand exactly what they meant. But as you go along in life, you realize that that's what we're here for. And in all honesty, this is now a way for me to come up like a good guy. It is. I, I really believe that each one of us um, have a uh, 
a very important responsibility. And, and it's not only to make money, it's basically to be able to provide to the world with your talent something that will help them become better. Uh, it, easier said than done, put it that way. And uh, and uh, but but overall, I get first of all, uh, woman, I I I, I com uh, commend you, and uh, because exactly I know in what you believe in, and um, and it, it is something that definitely it it it's it's um, it's inspiring, uh, but in the same token, um, it is. Uh, it, it makes it makes in 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 my case and my son it makes us realize that uh we have a serious responsibility and and, and we cannot ignore it uh, we cannot ignore it and it's not so that somebody will uh, pat us in the back and say oh how nice you guys are in all honesty i mean getting back again to my parents which for me was the biggest blessing because they gave me many things that now in my adult years i i am putting into practice is that um uh they um uh, they, they they were always firm believers that um that um uh, what you what you get from the universe is direct is directly proportional to what you give yeah and uh and that that for me is very important and um and but but anyway, I'm delighted to have you here in your show. Definitely. Oh, thank you. Um, when you see when you also encouraging the people, it just doesn't matter really if Hispanic or whatever. But uh, for you, you're coming now from Puerto Rico. You go to the U.S. and you make a super career. Um, a lot of people know your name. Uh, you're not only uh, in in advertising where they just hear your voice, but you were uh, more seen also. Um, why is it that people don't take this? Oh, if he can do it, we can do it. Um, why do you think people just limit themselves? Well, you know, it all start from um, uh, from uh, when when you start growing up. Believe it or not, uh, we're influenced by our peers as well as our families. But I, I really am a strong believer. And now that I have, I have to say, Wolfgang, I got six grandsons, my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that makes um, me realize that that is the, the key age in which you will, style, you will start um, what I said, um, teaching uh, the youth uh, uh, basic rules in life put it this way but to answer your question that you say why people for whatever reason don't realize that they have much more potential than what they really think they have and that's one of one of our goals especially with the hispanic market hispanic market in the united states uh Wolf, wolfgang is, is is a very hard working community so and um in 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 and many times you know it, it has been uh uh, many times they have not give the credit that this hardworking community actually have. But one of the things that excites me a lot about the Hispanics is that, and I came to this country, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen. Puerto Ricans are citizens of the United States. So, of course, the first time I came to New York, and of course, I was citizen like anybody else. But Wolfgang, that is something that I love to never lose is the immigrant mentality mm -hmm. because when you have an immigrant mentality it means that the things you didn't have when you grew up and you see it available in this country it makes you work harder and it makes you realize that doesn't matter what i need to get in this country as long as i do it right without hurting the rights of anyone else I'll be able to do it. And, 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 and so when you have a community that is as hardworking as Hispanic, Wolfgang, some Hispanics, they work three jobs, mm -hmm. three jobs. So you cannot say that Hispanics are lazy. They work three jobs. They yeah. go out from one to another. But one of the things 
I just I... A question, why do they have three jobs? In Germany, I see also there, I would say some poor people, they have a hard time to make their living. That's why they have three jobs. Or do they have three jobs to just, okay, if I have more jobs, I can, what was it, grow and buy more, do more, whatever. You mentioned something really key, and that's one of the reasons that um, I, I would like to let them know that, first of all, you are, you're having a community that is hardworking. That is, for me, is the most important thing. Because if you have a community that is lazy, <laughs> they don't want to work, mm -hmm. then you said, well, I mean, how, how I will be able to to at least open the door, uh, uh, shed light into how for you to become better financially when you actually don't have the desire to work. But this is a community, Wolfgang, that has, they have so much desire to work. And, but they still many times don't get ahead financially as they should. And, and as you know, in life is not working hard, it's working smart. And especially with all the opportunities that this country gives you. So due to the fact that a lot of the Hispanic, when they grew up, they were kind of, I, I don't want to say it this way, but hopefully I won't be misunderstood, kind of brainwash that you cannot do better. So, and that's one of the reasons I was telling you about, but the grandkids, when you grow up, having kind of that kind of a message as a kid that you get by the time you get adult you can have all the all the gold around you and you don't see it you don't see it because your mind already is being disciplined and it's being mold to whatever influence you had when you were a kid yeah, yeah. so this is one of the reasons that the same way I tell you, a lot of Hispanics, they have three jobs. But I love this country because in this country, even though nothing, not, not everything has been read, but everything has been written. So you can go and find it someplace. Yeah. yeah. And, and we would like to be kind of a... Um, uh, um, a way, a, a, a vehicle for Hispanics to mm -hmm. improve their quality of life and to at least um, op open their eyes that it is not how your old mentality um, was told you that that's the maximum you're going to get in life. There is, there is a easier way and you deserve you deserve to have everything you want without sacrificing yourself that you'll never have time not even to enjoy your family. And this is an area where sometimes it bothers me because I said, I, I have a responsibility to let them know that you can have financial independence in this country better than any other country in the world, believe it. And um, and you don't need to have parents that were very influential in order for them to give you the chance to get you up ahead in life. You can do it. Uh, of course, you have to be disciplined. You have to follow certain guidelines, but it can be done. And that is one of the areas, in all honesty, Wolfgang, that uh, mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning and I said, you know, I really know what I need to do. When I listen to you, it sounds uh, for me more, ah, the country is great, everything is fine. It is just uh, more the brainwash. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the brainwash, um, yeah, who is doing it? Um, I, I believe, first of all, it starts also in the families. Today, we right. know from science, our brain in the first three years is so important what we develop there. But if I just mention the caste system in, in, in year again, um, it's so great, uh, <laughs> great culture, how we keep people there, that they work there. Who cleans the toilets? Okay, this is discussed. But the parents teaching, although the kids don't talk with others, we are not like this. If I read the biography from Martin Luther King, right, uh, remember that he said not only the whites was a problem for him, his own people, because they think... Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you want? We are mediocre. And 
in German standpoint, and as you know, I wrote a book, Better the Whole World Against Me Than My Soul, I mentioned the German welfare system. They do nothing really to educate and help the people. They just, okay, let's make a law. You get a euro, a dollar more. Uh, yeah, exactly. what is the minimum wage or whatever. But nothing really that they develop personally. Because isn't it that the government or the system loves to keep them there? Because then we have the sheep workers. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, one of the, if we, if, if we be able to get the message across that there is nothing, you know, if we start the, my mentality, Wogan, is that uh, I'm always very proactive. Instead of me complaining about the system, instead of me um, uh, being the kind of, um, uh, telling everything that is why they are in the position they are in. I believe overall, the public is intelligent enough that if you tell them the formula in order to accomplish whatever they want, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and automatically you do it in that kind of an angle, in a, in a proactive angle, a proactive uh, approach, I think we can get, get much farther that uh, start complaining about the system and why sure. you are where you are. I don't mm -hmm. want to, I, I, I'm not interested in knowing why you are in the position you're in. I'm interested more in shedding light so that you'll be able to get, uh, get ahead in life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, and not only that is that when you get ahead, teach the young generation not to fall for the same mistakes you did. Yeah. Because if we only, and that is one of the, the areas where I think that uh, uh, that we'll be able to ultimately resolve the problem. Uh, and uh, and it's, it, uh, it, it sounds like a really hard, um, it, it's kind of a, a lot of work to do in order to uh, get that accomplished. But if everyone, you know, will be able to get into it, not everyone, of course, yeah. but if, if, if we have enough people to carry on and understand, I think that one of the key messages will win, and that's one of the things it, it inspired me. When I got to this country, I had very good mentors. Thanks, thanks to the universe, I had very good mentors. And they all always said is that we are, you know, we are first of all in, in the country of opportunities. But the opportunities is not going to fall into our lap like the manna from heaven. Mm -hmm. You have to go and get them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and the action is extremely important. Not complaining, not blaming. Just do it. Like, <laughs> like yeah, Nike. A lot, of, a lot of people don't see that in the law of attraction is the word action. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. It's a lot of, it's, uh, <laughs> but, but, but I, but I think we are we're in the right time, and uh, and uh, I I think there's a, a lot of very interesting things, and that's one of the reasons my son and I uh, have uh, yeah a, a, we created a broadcasting school for Hispanics because I'm a firm believer I've been in broadcasting all my life. My mother I was my mother was an opera singer, so she was the one that got me into you know the we call it in Spanish farandula. It means um, mm -hmm. you know where, you know theater and uh, and how to be able to ex, you know mm -hmm. use your talent to to entertain the world, put yeah. it kind of thing. But mm -hmm. uh, we believe that there is a key that if if we train good voices, and I am very firm believer, the best voices Wolfgang in the Hispanic market has not been discovered yet. Has yeah. not been discovered. They are out there doing something else, and we would like um, to become kind of a bridge between that Hispanic voice on train that is doing something that has nothing to do with broadcasting but always had that kind of a passion inside mm -hmm. because I think, and you don't have to have a voice of uh, God in order for be successful in the, in the, in the broadcasting community. Mm -hmm. You just have to have a passion to communicate something. Yeah. And for me, that is so important. 
Oh, that, uh, that, that what we know is in every area and all leaders is a, often those yeah. who you know, convince others. So um, the passion that was your, the main topic. And uh, before we go to deeper into, I'd like to say when, when I mentioned the uh, system, um, when I talk also where's the mistakes of the system, I'm never ever one to complain. It's just the more I can get the awareness where the problems are. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm I got it. I got it. So I was, uh, was mentioning, yeah. mm-hmm. mentioning that so that they will be misunderstood, you know. Yeah, so yeah. That... Because never fight an existing system. Don't give uh, anything against it. Just if you think a law of attraction, get more of the shit. Don't oh, absolutely. do that. Absolutely. Um, it's uh, really about uh, understanding where is the real problem. And exactly. uh, um, when you t- talk, it's so important about the young people and the passion. Uh, that right. is, um, by the way, for you, the information that we started with coming up with the word winspiration, because Win. we had once uh, as listened to German um, news and I said there are two million kids living in households of uh, welfare families, so living from welfare. So my old idea, if you really work hard, if you really want something, hmm, I think is that really working there? Um, I know. Yeah, is that so? And then we decided we need to inspire them first, that they get a picture. So when you talk now about passion, uh, one thing is explain the young kids uh, something, how everything works so that they don't feel the victim. But the next step is how is it that you think get they all get a passion for something not only the voiceover it's just, uh, stuff with the voice it's one thing but also whatever their passion is how do you get more people living to yeah that's me that's i want to bring this in the world that's that's a that's a point so uh yeah a uh yeah that is a very 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 key word uh and um for me wolfgang it is the motivator for you to uh, to go from the position you're in in life to where you want to go for me the fuel that will get you there is the inspiration yeah and um and it, you get I, I i'm a strong believer i i consider myself like i said before i was blessed because when i was um 8 years old i was what they called uh, perhaps that word was not um expressed back there but i was i was a super hyper kid and my mother very intelligent woman um the, she i believe that inside of herself she said how in the world i'll be able to uh to to change all of this energy this kid has into something constructive because uh wolfgang many times I even remember I was on the cash register with her and I was just trying to interview everyone and talk to them. And then I said, mom, why he's not saying hi to me? I'm saying hi to him. He should say hi to me and say, you don't know him. He don't know you. It doesn't mean he's rude, but he's a stranger. So the bottom line, my mother see me so hyper, she ended up giving me for my birthday, a little Panasonic recorder with a little microphone okay thinking to herself well i have to i have to find a way to keep this kid occupied oh Mm -hmm. that was wolfgang i don't think i was the best way to cure my um kind of uh I, i was very curious about everything oh when they gave me that little microphone wolfgang I I was interviewing everyone around and I want them to respond. I am recording you. I'm recording. I was just eight years old. But anyway, I back then there was something inside of me. I said I wanted to be a broadcaster and I want to interview movie stars in Hollywood. That was when mm-hmm. I was seven. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it's check out how and that was my passion from the beginning. And I think that that everyone even though they have not dig in inside of themselves but everyone has a passion that mm-hmm. many times 
it is cover up with a lot of frustration or whatever. But if everyone takes their time to dig in, they will find their passion. And your passion will be the magnet that will get you whatever you want to go. And 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 and, and giving a message to the young generation, because I know you and me, we are very concerned about the young generation because those that's a future that's a future of the world yes. and um if i can go back and uh and, and and being able to get a constructive lesson for all the young people that are out there and and many times you see a lot of the young generation doing graffitis and painting they want they Believe it or not, there is something inside of them that they want the world to hear. Yeah. So everyone, everyone, it doesn't matter. It does not matter in what kind of conditions they're living now. But every young person, if they will search inside of themselves, they will find a passion that they have. And yeah, sure. find that passion, that mm -hmm. will be the best GPS <laughs> yes. where they're going to get to where they want to get. That yeah. is important. Before the real GPS, uh, was, uh, um, yeah. we had, what is it, 30 whatever years ago, we had a company we called the GPS. Um, yes. It was more the German, it's a, a company for personal development. Um, right. And just was it was by accident it came out and the short version was GPS. And and today Winspiration is um offering courses because we 100 percent believe everybody comes with a special gift. We are unique. And right. everybody has, we call it today no more the essence. What is the real essence? Um, not just purpose. We, we called it purpose finding before, but uh, purpose is such a stretch word today. Um right. so, we said it's your true essence and if you discover it you find also your personal gift and then bring yeah. that in the world and i think this is the only way that you not only can be successful really but that you can be in the flow successful right right that you don't have yeah. burnout and everything it's like nature yeah you whatever flower you are or whatever you just right. live that and then you can blossom yeah and you you brought up a, a key point there is the uniqueness yes. in everyone, and uh, you know bringing in the same subject of the uh, uh, the broadcasting and voiceover school that my son and I built up. Sometimes the students, of course, uh, as one of the teachers, um, they hear some of my commercials and they hear some of my narrations of documentaries. And the students said, they said, Tito, I want to be exactly the same way <laughs> yes. that you have been. I said, big mistake. Oh, yeah. You can learn from what I do, but you have to have your own mm -hmm. unique way because, and that, this, is a, this, is an, this is an area, um, Wolfgang, that uh, we emphasize to our students you don't need to have a broadcaster voice to be a successful no. broadcaster. Um, and the modern broadcasting, even now, when I used to, when I started in the industry on, on the mid seventies, uh, you, you needed to have the, the uh, voice of God to get hired. Oh yes. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this days that is old broadcasting and the old broadcasting they stay back in the 70s new broadcasting it is the art of communication and you don't need to have a great voice to communicate a message what you need is to speak from your heart mm -hmm. and when you communicate from your heart my friend you can have a different tone that i have and that's what i would tell our students don't don't imitate me you have a unique voice personality that is different to anyone in the world. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the personality yes. that that people want, you know. Yes. And uh it, it brought me also 
I have a very great mentor that everybody everybody know. Rest in peace. God bless him. Um, is his name was Ricardo Montalvan. Mm -hmm. Ricardo Montalvan was the uh, uh, is the the Mexican actor that always kept his accent as his signature. Mm -hmm. There was a commercial wolf and back then it says called Corinthian leather. He was advertising an mm -hmm. automobile. Well, um, my agent back then, Wolfgang, um, said, Tito, with your voice, you have to lose your accent, neutralize your accent so that you can do, you can make other English speaking commercials because you have too much of a strong accent. Due to the fact that Ricardo was my one of my mentors back then, I I went to we call it Don Ricardo, Don for respect, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, Don Ricardo, I have uh, I have an issue here. My agent wants me to go to have neutralize my accent in order for me to get more gigs, more contracts. He said, uh, in his face immediately, I realized that he was not agreeing with me. He said, Tito, if you lose your accent. You're gonna lose your personality. There are many people that speak neutral English, but me with my accent, I have got more contracts that if I would have neutralized my accent, because yeah. then I'll become one of of the bunch, and and that goes back again, Wolfgang, to the uniqueness in each one of us. Yes, we cannot lose that yeah. because that uniqueness is what. Uh, put us, you know, apart from the rest of the world. And uh, so for the young people out there, if we want to deliver a good message, hey, don't don't be a copycat. Learn from the big guys. Learn, yes. but be yourself and establish your own way to do things. Yes. Copying is a kind of suicide. Huh? And exactly. that is not. And, and like you said, the times changed. I think of all of what we had financial crisis and everything now and the fake news topic and everything. I feel people are longing for the truth, authenticity. That is so exactly. much more important today. And that's why coming back to kids, it's so important, not just become from society or business standpoint, because also most parents, even if they think they do something good yeah but they most of the time uh, they are limiting the kids so that they're not uh, allowed to it's not the accent maybe it's whatever their passion is that they're not could live their true self i think this is a time where we really can start changing the world but that everybody now can live their true self because we have enough money we have enough food on planet earth we have a distribution problem yeah? that is not right, right. there is a lack of fairness missing but this is what we need the clear uniqueness who you really are mm -hmm. there was a there was a um, message my father used to my father was an attorney a very very good attorney mm -hmm. in puerto rico rest rest in peace wow was a great friend he was of me miss him a lot um and uh he used to say son When you see the whole world running to the left, I will give you a secret. Run to the right, and you will have 95% that you're right. Mm -hmm. And if we translate this for the for the uh, young people, uh, Wolfgang, um, instead of copying others, instead of following the crowd, I think there is a jewel, there is a diamond inside of everyone. I'm a firm believer, and I'm not trying to be here too philosophical, Wolfgang. I mean, but I think there is in every one, there is a jewel that unfortunately, many of them lived their whole life and died without that jewel to come out into the surface. And you know why? And, uh, Is because, and there was a story that I heard <clears throat> from late um, Bob Proctor, and they call that the uh, Acres of Diamond. Yeah. Uh, you, I mean, come on, I'm I'm preaching to the preacher here. <laughs> um, and uh, and it says the Acres of Diamond, 
there was a African uh, farmer that uh, heard that uh, there were some settle settlers that came into Africa and they were making millions with diamonds. And he was so excited about it. He said, oh, I'm going to sell my land and I'm going to go and, and dedicate the rest of my life going through Africa to find diamonds. He did that. He just sold his land and went out there to find the diamond so that he can share it with the other settlers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this farmer um, uh, ended up uh, on bankruptcy because he never found anything. And frustrated with uh, all the failure in life, he just jumped into a river and died. And the, the story behind is that the land that he sold one day, the new owners right next to the shore found a kind of a weird rock and it became one of the biggest diamonds. Then he studied his land and the land became one of the most lucrative diamond lands in whole Africa. What it says, and this is another message, most of the people, their whole life, they're looking out there for their big uh break and their diamonds and, and and the richness when they have it under their own under their own feet yeah. mm -hmm. and that that was a great lesson Wolfgang. Yeah. i learned I, that was that was something i said you know it is it's real it's true it's life yeah and bob dedicated dedicated his life uh, over 60 years he was exactly pre Absolutely. preaching great man. yes so what you just mentioned the story um, and Bob had us in lead the field. So um, this leading is something different than just, uh, yeah, feeling I'm mediocre and everything. So um, exactly. I just saw a movie, for, um, kind of biography, or at least something about the life of um, <clears throat> Jennifer Lopez. And I saw when, I think it was when, when Biden became president and there she was singing, Right. A national anthem or what it was a, uh, for everything. And then she made a short pause and a message to the Hispanic community. Um, right. Is this a sign of uh, just simple the courage of Jennifer Lopez, or is this also a sign that the government uh, wanted it and says, okay, greetings, and we will do something for you? Well, uh, I don't know Jennifer personally, mm. uh, but the kind of person she is, Wolfgang, uh, I think that was really personal of her. She she has never forgot her roots, and uh, she followed kind of the philosophy that I told you before. Um, you know, she came from you know, the, 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 the Spanish areas in New York mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to start them. And, uh, and, 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 and she takes her blessings. She don't take her blessings for granted. And in the same token, any time that she finds a way to help Hispanics to at least shed light into, if I can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, I really think, that of course it was a very good opportunity, and um, it was a uh, you know there were millions of people that were in that point moment, and mm -hmm. considering the millions of Hispanics that are in this country, I think she did what she needed to do, and uh, but yeah, she's and so, very uh, authentic. She's very authentic. And there was another situation uh, with the Super Bowl where she had a show, or is this a few fifteen minute show, in in, in right. one of these. Uh, the breaks there and uh, they wanted to let you take something out and it says no I don't do this um, I stick with it um, so there is a person you are the advocate of this is there anything going on that you those kind of leaders or spirits uh, connect and just um, with then a kind of combined um, effort spirit effort, yeah um, can move more for the kids more, whatever. Well, you know, you just hit it right there in the in the nail's head, Wolfgang. I don't think there is now, mm -hmm. but but again, like the lessons we learn, opportunity. 
Yeah. Um, it, there is the, it, 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 it's never too late to start, especially no. something that is so important. Um, it, it is so important, in all honesty, and 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 we cannot say that. Well, there has to be. We have to move so many rocks, and we have to break so many obstacles in order to get the message across. Start speaking out, you know. Um, but they, it should be. I think uh, Wolfgang, I'm going to hold you responsible <laughs> for because because you brought in a very good point. There has to be a network in which. More better, more influencers to the Hispanic youth, to because I, you know one of the things me and my, my my son and my son and myself we believe is that let's not talk about it, let's do something. Yes, uh, and um, you know I remember when we built up the school together. One of the thing I admire about he's my partner partner and son I always mm -hmm. want to see him as a partner so because many times parents tends to you know we we, we, <laughs> yes. we tend to yeah. to uh, yeah. it, it take you know no so I, I see him as a partner so in that way we can accomplish more but he said that um this school that we want to put together um one other thing and that this is not talking anything negative about the system but the university never teach you how for you to find a job, get a job, and and, and have experience. Mm -hmm. They give you a diploma. Uh, I can put it on, on in the wall. It looks great, but I can the diploma is gonna give me the job. So mm -hmm. we have to find a way, a system in which we not only train the voices, but we find uh, a way for the voices yes. to use their skills and get experience within our system. And that's one of the reasons that two years ago, we have our school already four years, but two years ago, we opened our radio station. It's an internet radio station that can go mm -hmm. worldwide. It's on Google, it's on, uh, you can get it there uh, free, don't know, download, because we wanted to give them a platform. If we train them and then we send them like they used to send us before, when I was in, in my uh, my young years, um, then I had to start knocking on doors. Hey, hey, here's my voice. Can you give me a job, please? Can you please? Yes, yeah. But now our, our 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 school, we have a a radio station that uh, that uh, that they will be able to expose their talent, do the podcast, do interviews. And uh, so in that way, before they go out there to knock on doors, they already have the experience and their voice have been heard through our station. So that was a, I have to give credit to my son for that because he said, it's not, we don't want to give a diploma. I want them to already have the experience. And even, I mean, when the students are to a point that, that we can keep them in our radio station, we can even contract them on a salary so they can have a job before yeah. they go so yeah. that was a good good angle yeah there's a very good and it's a big problem in the school system um that uh in my case also becoming a lawyer just yeah, yes so I had the certificate but i didn't know how to rent a room or whatever nobody told exactly. me in school right so the simple things, how you lead then your employees and everything, nothing. Um, so right. a lot of people fail after just right. learning or need to follow rules of other people. So it's very, very, very important uh, to do this. And coming back to the kids, um, really yes. teach them the doing. And life is about experience. Eh? That, it's all or not about collecting certificates. Eh? So. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward that uh, we can accomplish more because um, the, the topic you have because of your origin with uh, the Hispanic co community is the same everywhere else. It is not, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, in, in Germany also becomes more of a, a cultural community. UK is, well, a lot of uh, different mixtures of 
people and it is somehow so shocking that we have a culture already um i saw it I realized it first in the uk were fourth generation living from welfare yeah so that's, that's where, crazy yeah, in this where, day and age yes and and then these rich countries yeah but it's a different world like like you said they are hard working people but you don't make really the money you know we if it's whatever investments banking or uh, in the society so there is a lot of things uh, we need to change in the system but also seeing humans different so um, i'm always like to say and um, what is your opinion on this we are maybe the first time in history of this planet that we can a need to define really human humanity because if we talk at the moment of human rights is in the end you have the right to work <laughs> yeah or you had the right to go to school or whatever but that is not really what the essence of humanity should be i don't know it's the uh, the area that i really think and um and it is a, it's a it's a complicated subject but in the same token it can be simplified if we if we will be able to put a mirror in front of everyone when you put a mirror in front of your face you cannot see anybody but you i really think in all honesty wolfgang i think and i know there's you know many um flaws out there in the system and again i go back to the solution at least to the beginning of resolving this is taking personal responsibility of everyone yes forget about the system forget about where you're that look at yourself and tell to yourself that you have a responsibility to do something with your life and my father on old the old expression will then they said going to say it in spanish ayúdate que dios te ayudará it means help yourself that god will help you as long as god knows that you're taking your first step yeah so what that mean and it's very deep and i heard it the first time when i was really young had no idea i said okay yeah whatever you said you know because you know your kids you you yeah. know exactly but they i mean old they say the devil is more devil because of the age and the experience that being a devil put it that way so mm -hmm. he has without putting something negative about it here but um going back to it is and and, and this is not something philosophical not something inspirational only, Wolfgang. It is reality. Because if you, and you don't have to be in the United States, you don't have to be in any other country. Of course, there are many countries going to be harder to do it because the system um, is going, you have to go over bigger obstacles. But I really believe, and I want you to tell me if I'm in the right direction here, that the way the world is today, UK, Germany, United States, South America, Central America, Caribbean, it doesn't matter where. If you put your mirror, a mirror in front of your face, I think we live in a day and age in which if you want to do something, you'll figure out a way to do it. And the universe will give you direction. Yeah. But if you start, if you start your search by depending on the system for the system to save you okay so i have to wait until the system gets better i am a firm believer wolfgang that to uh, and that's what i tell my students okay don't wait for the right conditions to start doing something because you'll never start whatever you have again the 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 expression ayúdate que dios te ayudará Help yourself, God. God will help you. And I think that that is a key message for the young people. Perhaps, and, and please, they don't have to worry about how. That is another big problem. How in the world are I going to do something when I don't have the money now? Don't worry about it. Yes. This is what you want to do? I will, I will give you, I will assure you, my experience on all the years I have, 
If I would have waited for the right moment and the right conditions to do something, Wolfgang, I would still be in New York trying to find a job between Broadway and uh, the Broadway and Fourth Street. Yes, I I believe in do whatever you need to do with whatever you have available. That there is a way that the universe will bring you the additional accessories so that you can get whatever you need. I'm yeah. a firm believer of that. It is t totally, and it's, it's law, universal it's law, uh, to be, to do, to have. So it's about, they call it human being, not human doing, not human planning exactly. or whatever. It is about Absolutely. what will be. And like you said, um, we talked about the, the essence or the passion. It's inside of you. So exactly. if that's the best with the mirror, you need to look inside of you. You don't find solutions on the outside. And right. Sadhguru says... The biggest problem you have is memory because of the memory you try to follow certain rules or steps and the look at, at, at every baby you don't need to tell you know, start crawling or bite in something or paint no they do it it's the nature yeah because it comes from inside out and, exactly. and that is what we really need to teach and like i said you don't need to know we teach even you're not allowed to know because if you know you're only repeating the past. Absolutely. So it's about and stay whatever you are. Exactly. Yes. It's about really getting in the dream. When we talk also here on Inspiration Radio on extraordinary future, is let's start dreaming together. What is Absolutely. how do we want this future? And then we right. can make it happen because it's just in the end about an agreement that we do it. We can do everything we can create the laws and everything if we really really want it if you yeah. go out of the fear the memory and really focus on what is it what we see let's say 30 40 50 years how do we will see your community wow they live up and live their passion that's is what they need to understand and that's what we're teaching absolutely there was a um if i may um, there was a story that really got my attention, Wolfgang. Um, when they interview, we're not going to mention names here, when they interview one of the most successful chefs in the world and ask the, the reporter, it was the New York Times. And remember, I was in New York back then. And they interview him and, and they ask him, Mr. So-and-so, when did you realize that you was one of the, of the richest chefs in the world? When when did you remember that uh, that thing happened? He said, you know, when I was sleeping on park benches, mm -hmm. that's when I was, the, I realized I was the rich. What he's saying, and this is also for the young people, is that, if and you just mentioned it there, Wogan, if People don't realize one key secret in life is that your dreams, the dream, your dream is the bridge to where you're going to be in the future. Yes. If you cannot dream it and put it in your head, you won't be able to accomplish it or manifest it in yes. life. That is also easier said than done, Wolfgang. Yes, it's very easy to say that. Yeah, but it's a it's a great. Uh... A story and what do you say um, reminder for we now come to the end here of uh, this hour and it's also a super stepping stone uh, for maybe another session and I was really awesome. looking for a session uh, you and Jennifer Lopez and, and sharing what exactly. spirit you created um, then to really see this kind of vision we see here the vision and inspiration that there is an extraordinary future possible it's really that we start really dreaming about and wanting it because everybody knows exactly once in, the mo year, in your life you experience it if you really really wanted something it happened so yeah. let's want really the extraordinary future thank you tito Greetings you. to your son and looking forward to meet you again. And please yeah. keep on doing the wonderful work.
No, thank you. You are doing an amazing work. I congratulate you and uh, thank you again to invite me to your great show. Thank you. This was another episode of Winspiration Wisdom and Information to support you getting out of illusions, false identifications, limiting beliefs. We all have the power and potential to be more, do more, have more, give more. Reality is what is possible in the universe and the best is yet to come. If you want to dive deeper into possibilities of creating the extraordinary future, go to inspiration.global or to wolfgangsonnenburg.com. More information and some free downloads like the email program Dream Goals Reality or a copy of the book The Best is Yet to Come can be found on the UK Health Radio website under the Listen on Demand and Presenters section. Join us again next week on the Winspiration Show for more wisdom and information to create your extraordinary future.